Sam's Adam. I'm at Sydney Airport and today I'm going to be flying to Port Macquarie on the New South Wales North Coast with Qantas Link. So let's go. Qantas Link operates from Terminal 3. The departure area is located on Level 1. I'm travelling on the Easter long weekend. Economy passengers are encouraged to use self-check-in kiosks. Bag drop is also self-serve. It's always exciting to see wide-body aircraft such as this Airbus A330. Because of the pandemic, we don't see many wide-body aircraft in Adelaide where I live. I have a pass to the Qantas Club. It's a benefit of one of my credit cards. There's loads of space and as it's 7.30am on a Saturday, the lounge is pretty quiet. There's a range of seating and because it is quiet, the second bar is closed. It's time for breakfast. This used to be self-serve, but because of the pandemic, the staff will give you your selection. I chose the Bircher muesli with fruit salad and orange juice. You can get some decent views of the tarmac from this side of the lounge. The bathroom is clean and functional. Today I'll be flying on a Dash 8 Series 400, which you can see in the distance. This turboprop is also known as a Q400. It's time to board. A bus will take us to the plane. Qantas Link Q400s have an all-economy cabin. This aircraft seats 74 passengers. Today's aircraft is named Forster and is about 15 years old. Seating is in a two by two arrangement. You can tell it's a bit older from the overhead panels. The cabin is ready and then the captain comes on the PA to tell us there's a mechanical problem. There's a fault with the fuel indicator for the number two engine, which will take a while to fix. Thankfully, there's a spare Q400 at the airport, so we're put on a bus to a replacement aircraft. This aircraft is nine years old. You can tell it's quite a bit younger from the overhead panel, which looks more modern. There's a bit of a wait while they fuel the aircraft and the crew undertakes the pre-flight procedures. Today's flight is quite lightly loaded. I'd say it's about half full. The rear of the aircraft. Please identify the exit nearest to you and an alternative. If an evacuation is necessary in darkness or there is smoke in the cabin, a line of lights on the floor will illuminate to direct you to an emergency exit. A life jacket is located under your seat. Should the life jacket be required, remove it from its container, unroll it, and place it over your head. Pass this tape around your waist and secure the buckle closed. To tighten, pull this tape. Once outside the aircraft, pull the red toggle down to inflate the life jacket. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation. Sydney Airport has three runways, two of which are parallel, 
This increases airport capacity. Today, we will take off towards the ocean from runway 16 left. But aircraft on the parallel runway are landing and taking off in the opposite direction to us. This is known as simultaneous opposite direction parallel runway operations and allows the airport to operate efficiently while also reducing noise over Sydney. The airport can only operate like this when the wind is just right and there is very good visibility. It's remarkable how little runway the Q400 needs to get airborne. A Q400 with an average payload requires less than 1,400 metres for takeoff. This runway is just over 2,400 metres. over Botany Bay to head towards Port Macquarie with some fine views of Sydney Harbour. Today's route will take us along the coast past Newcastle at a cruise altitude of 18,000 feet. It's a relatively short flight of 200 nautical miles or 370 kilometres taking about 50 minutes. A refreshment is served, a mixed berry yoghurt muffin with coffee or tea. I went for tea. There's one bathroom at the front of the plane. It's basic, but that's all you need. Before long, we start our descent. Port Macquarie has a population of just under 50,000 people and is a popular holiday destination, particularly with people from Sydney and Brisbane. It's a very pretty place.
Sydney to Port Macquarie is Australia's 50th busiest domestic route, with about 191,000 passengers in 2019. The route is operated by Qantaslink, however since March 2021 Rex also flies this route, providing competition. Before the pandemic, Virgin Australia flew this route using ATR-72 aircraft. We're treated to some lovely views on approach. Let's look at the one-way fares on this route. You can fly with Qantas Link for $167 or with Rex for $119. The aircraft will now head back to Sydney. Because of the technical issues with our first aircraft, we arrive about 40 minutes late. Port Macquarie is a modern regional airport and was upgraded by the local council in 2019. The airport is located about four kilometres west of the city centre. Overall, this was an enjoyable short flight. Qantas Link did well to get us to Port Macquarie with minimal delay. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be grateful if you can hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you soon.